Hello guys, welcome to Statistics Bio 7. I am Dr. Mohanathanari. This channel is fully focused on the bio statistics related video post on this channel. If you like this channel video, click the subscription button and support to me, join to our channel membership. Let's go to the video. Now we are the discussion topic. Markov chain. So what is the Markov chain? The Markov chain is a mathematical system that undergoes transactions from one state to another within a finite or countable number of possible state. It is characteristic by the property that the probability of transactions to any other particular states is dependent solely on the current state and not on the sequences of even that pursued it. This is now as a Markov chain memoryless property. Key concept of the Markov chain states those are the possible conditions or status in which a system can exit. For example, in a biological system, states could represent different states of disease, levels of gene expressions or population of species. Transactions probabilities those are the probability of moving from one state to another. The transaction probability matrix often denoted by P capture the probability of moving from any state I to state J in one time step. Steady state distributions over the time the Markov chains may reach a steady state where the probability of being in any given state remaining constant. This is particularly useful in predicting the long term behavior in biological system. The application of Markov chain in biological science. So the various different field in applied for the Markov chain in biological science. The ecology, conversation biology, gene expressions, genetic trap evaluation, the disease progressing, viral evaluation and the sequence analysis. Here an example the data for Markov chain is ecological data where numerical value are used to represent the different habit for the bird species across the several years. Let's use the following the numerical representation for the habits. 1 forest, 2nd the grassland and 3rd the wetland. The numerical example the data set. Those data set show the transactions of the 10 different bird species over the last 5 years between the 3 habits for forest, grassland and wetland. So the now how to calculate Markov chain in the past statistical software. So before we see the data, the data already entered in the excel sheet. So to open the excel sheet. So this is the data for Markov chains analysis in the past statistical software, the data set for the ecological data set. So we take the 5 different year 2019 to 2023 and 10 different bird species migration for the 3 different field. So the forest, grassland and the wetland. So the data imported to the past statistical software. So select the data copy and open the past statistical software ok they click the row attributor and column attributed column select the name column and click to the paste button so the data is paste so on click the row and column attributed select all the data go to the time series menu and select to the markov chain so this is for the markov chain analysis in the past statistical software so the four type of matrix available in the Markov chains. So the first one for the transaction frequencies. So the next one for the transaction probabilities and third one for the expected frequencies and fourth one for expected probabilities. So the click for the no replicated data. So we take the only for the raw, uh, raw data no replications data. So this is for the high square value and the p value for statistics value. So high square value 2.166 and the p value 0 
so now the how to write the interpretation and the table format for the markov chain in the four type of the matrix let's go to the interpretation section so this is where the interpretation section for the markov chain the first one matrix for the expected probabilities so this is a table and this is for the high square test value so the transaction matrix the matrix show the transaction probability between three states the label 1 and 2 3 the label 1 and 3 mean mean for the one is a forest and the two is a grassland and third is a wetland so the each row represent the starting stand state and the each column represent the state to which the system may transactions the high square test the high square test value the x square is 2.166 so this is a high square value which means the goodness of fit the model the corresponding p value is 0 0.1411 which is above the common significant trust gold of 0 0.05 indicating the observed the transactions are not significantly a difference from what would be the expected under the null hypothesis there is no statistically difference conclusion of the expected probability matrix in markov chain the markov chains model the provide an understanding of the transaction dynamics between the three state in ecological system for forest grassland and wetland the probability show the higher trend tendency for transaction between the state than for remaining in the state the since the p value is greater than 0 0.05 the model suggests that the transaction follow the expected distributions without any significant deviations meaning the markov chain is good fit for the ecological data so the next one for the markov chain matrix to the expected frequencies so the expected frequencies matrix the matrix show the expected frequencies for transaction between the three state the label one two and three those frequencies represent how often transition between the different states are expected to occur based on the underlying the Markov chain model. The high square test, the high square test value 2.166, the same for the before test, which is the same as the previous output for the expected probabilities. This indicated that there is no significant difference between the observed and expected transactions. Conclusion of the expected frequencies. The expected frequencies matrix show the transaction for one state to another are expected more frequency between state 1 and 2, which few were transaction to the state 3. The high square test, the p value suggests that the model fit in the data well the lack of significant difference within a p value of 0 0.1411 they indicate that expected frequencies are a reasonable representations of the actual data the interpretation suggests that the transaction between the states in the ecological system are well modeled by the markov chain and the no significant among in the transactions were the detected so the next one for the transaction frequencies in markov chains the markov chain so observed the frequencies transaction between the three state the label one two and three those number represent how often transaction from one state to another occurred during the observed period the high square value 2.166 which measure the difference between the observed and expected transactions. The p value is 0 0.1411, indicating that the difference between the no difference between the observed and expected transaction is not statistically significant at the common 0 0.05 significant level. 
the conclusion of the transaction frequency the transaction frequency matrix show the number of observed transaction between the different state the most frequency transaction occurred from the state 1 to state 2 the 9 times so the state 1 to state is a total the 9 times and state 2 and state 1 and the state 2 is a state 1 total of 7 times the indicated the strong tendency of the movement between those two state the least frequent transaction occurred from the state 1 and state 3 so the most frequent at the state 1 and state 3 0 times the high square test and the p value suggest there is no significant difference between the observed and expected transactions the meaning the model fit the data well the transactions between the state are concerned with what would we be expected for the markov chain model so the last one for the transaction probability in markov chains the each cell in the matrix represent the probability of transaction from the one state to another the value range between the 0 and 1 where 1 indicated sudden transaction and 0 indicated no transactions. The high square test value for transaction probability matrix in Markov chain is 2.166 and p value is 0 0.1411. As previously mentioned, the p value of 0 0.1411 suggests there is no statistically significant difference between the observed transaction frequencies and the expected ones. This further the support the suitability of Markov chains model for this data. The conclusion of the transaction probabilities. The transaction probability matrix provide valuable information on the movement between the states. The system show the distance transaction for the individual to transaction from one state to another, especially for the state 1 to state 2 and for the individual in the state 3 to remaining in the state. This type of analysis would be applied to the various ecological models such as population dynamics, planned growth state or habit transactions. To understand the underlying the mechanisms and likely future changes within the ecological. So the next one for the ecological conclusions for the Markov chain test in four matrix data. The application of the Markov chain test to the ecological data has provided valuable insight in the dynamic transaction between the ecological status. States, the transaction probability suggests that there is a higher likelihood of the movement between the certain states, particularly between the state 1 for forest and state 2 for the grassland and state 3 for the wetland tend to the show the greater stability. The transaction frequency is highest that the observed the transaction again will the expected behaviors which frequent transaction between the state 1 and 2 but the few transactions for the state 1 to state 3. This pattern is supported by the expected frequencies which closely mirror to observe the transactions as reflected by the non-significance high square test result x square is equal to 2.166 and p value is equal to 0 0.1411 indicating the no significant deviation between the expected and observed frequencies. Finally, the expected probability further support the probability of state transactions identify Concern the movement between the state will also recognizing the rare transactions. Overall, the Markov chain test has provided to be a robust tool in understanding and predicting ecological transactions, offering the import implications for the monitoring species behavior, succession states, or habit transaction in ecological system. So, this is for the Markov chains calculation method in past statistical software and interpretation for the four type of matrix in Markov chains in fast statistical software.
okay any if you any doubt on this video post on the comments in the comment box i will help you and thank you for watching this video again if you like this video click to the subscription button and support to me join to our channel membership thank you for watching this video